when it works, it's actually a pretty great printer. Okay, so trust me when I tell you, this whole review turns a corner eventually. But for the sake of my sanity, I just need to get a few things off my chest right away, so let's start with the bad. I know exactly what you're thinking. How bad can it possibly be? The overall communication on this 3D printer is not very great. Or I'm an idiot, and I'm gonna go with it's not very great. Out of the box, this shouldn't really be that hard to build, uh, I would imagine, right? I'm tech savvy, right? Honestly, just with the instruction manual itself, there were a few parts where I had to go straight to YouTube for just to figure out what was what and what goes where. That video made assembly extremely easy, but it doesn't seem like it should be something that's necessary. Once up and running, I easily printed out one of these cute little test frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. And then quickly made it a friend so it wouldn't get lonely. Don't judge me. So now you're wondering, well, what the hell is the problem? Well, so far I haven't actually used the printing software to print anything. This is just test prints from the machine. Now it gets interesting. The issue is nor does it say to avoid other 3D printing software. There should be a giant use only UP Studio somewhere. People have gotten the other stuff to work. I didn't at all. Fuck, perhaps this is it. I'm in the final days of being tech savvy, AI, 3D printers, laser cutters and engravers. Everything's changing. I can't keep up and I'm finally old. This is it, it's over. Once I stopped feeling sorry for myself, I hauled my ass off the bench and got to thinking about what I needed to do to make this printer work. So in the end, I ended up at UP Studio. How did that happen? Well, there's a Discord. A special shout out to Syntax Geek for getting me on the right track because I was starting to lose my proverbial shit. So now that I found the Discord and I am on the right track with the software, I want to print the rocket. So there's a test rocket that comes with the 3D printer. You don't need to use the software for that. No problem. Everything will just go all right. Now, obviously I didn't read something and that's on me, but the information on the rocket file doesn't work. Maybe take the rocket file off the SD card, but it wasn't done. So I printed the rocket. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not the end of the world. Kind of annoying because it's a five hour print, four hour print, something like that. Anyways, moving on. So maybe that file shouldn't be included with the printer or maybe those instructions need to be extremely clear, written on the box, something right out in the open instead of in some review documents that I'm not gonna look at until I've already assembled everything and started printing. And it's on the rocket file. Who doesn't wanna print a rocket? I had gone over to the Discord, I got the software figured out and now we are on to printing something properly with UP Studio and WAND, which was actually really handy. In case I haven't been abundantly clear, UP Studio and the accompanying WAND software is the only software you should be using to run this 3D printer. With all the other issues out of the way and me using UP Studio, my first print with a non-test print file was this cube. And it worked fine, perfectly fine. Everything was great. People print these little cubes to help them calibrate their printers this one seems pretty solid to me. After all the frustration, we're finally off and running. So in the end, almost all my issues with this printer are to do with communication. I'm gonna take some of the blame for that, but as a new 3D printer user, there was a lot of frustration. I'm glad it works now. Man, I was losing my marbles for a while there. And honestly, part of the problem may be how tech savvy I think I am, or maybe I am not, because I kept pushing for answers without going to the source thinking that I could just figure it out in the software on my own. Eventually we got hooked up with the Discord though, and that was a game changer. I'll put a link to the Discord down below as well. Really, as long as they're not marketing these to people as their very first 3D printer with the communication and instructions that they handed me, then who cares? But if you're new or thinking of buying one, lucky you ran across this video and got to see all the problems that I have that I've finally figured out and solved. So Magnus, what the hell does all this mean? means that I had all the problems that you might have and then some and that hopefully you can avoid them because when it works it's actually a pretty great printer. You know it has a ton of bed space, a really slick dual color printing feature. This means you can print your supports in a different material and they'll dissolve in water so any supports that help build your structure as you 3D print just throw it in water and dissolve. Unlike most other printers it just does this on the fly. Straight at the nozzle is where it's switching filaments. The other printers, I'm pretty sure, have it way further back. It moves the printer head, releases the excess color that you don't want, moves it back, and starts printing again. 
I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this one doesn't do that because both filaments come right to the nozzle and it can swap back and forth on the fly. Pretty awesome. With UP Studio and Wand, you get full auto leveling and Z height and UP Studio does the work of converting regular STL files to multicolor for you. So that is awesome. I still need to figure out the UP Studio software. I'm a total noob, as you probably have figured out by this video. If this 3D printer is something that interests you, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below, as well as a bunch of other links. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe for future content. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.